turns out that one of the trans community's biggest haters might actually be a transgender man himself. It's crazy, and it's a theory that is sweeping conspiracy theory circles across the world. It's all based on one picture of this alleged trans man in the male bikini bottom, which when you think about it is enough to raise a few eyebrows in the first place. Oh, yeah! Good morning and welcome to episode 1522 of Hard Factor. It is Monday, August 12th, 12th, 2024. Thank you for cheating on the news with us. 80-ish percent accuracy guaranteed on this podcast. Patreon.com slash Hard Factor if you need more. Today, we've got Hurricane Coke, mysteriously reappearing Eastern European men, Boeing, being Boeing, a trans hater who might be trans themselves, smart vapes, and much more. Yeah. Clay- Clayton Bigsby style. Yeah, exactly. The black white supremacists. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we'll uh, see who that is. Uh, stacked Monday lineup. We got Wes, Mark, and Will here. How you guys doing? Good weekends. Wes, was your did you you did the bear tour of Chicago? I saw the food, the kitchen tour. It's, yeah, it's technically called the Yes Chef food tour. It was great. I highly recommend it. Um, okay. if you're if you're into the bear, especially, but you know, just a good food tour in general. So yeah, it was cool. It was Very good. nice. I was filming it, great but I got show. to eat, I got to eat all the shit. Yes, Chef. You also got to meet Carrie Strug. I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's yeah. i'm an ogre i'm yeah. an ogre compared to her i'll pull the picture i think <laughs> You're much larger than carrie strug yeah she still yeah. sounds like an elf she's about four four foot nine and uh she's very sweet um but yeah didn't expect that didn't didn't see that in my life experience meeting standing well, next to carrie a, strug you got a sweet picture with her i mean just bring it up before the show's over, i will you know i will I mean, so that yes. so people can see you're not lying you really met carrie strug yeah, the two things I remember about Carrie Strug, she landed that vault on one leg, winning us the mm-hmm. gold when she was injured, which is huge. And she is so little that that creep Bella Caroli would mm-hmm. always like kind of carry her around like she was a doll. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. one handed <laughs> yeah. kind of. Yeah. He's always like got her like, look, it's Carrie, it's my prize student, Carrie. Yeah, she yeah. was like a his toy, hand, his hand toy. was always like way too directly under her yeah. So yeah. <laughs> I'm sure she was thrilled to be standing next to me <laughs> you're like three oh. carries drugs yeah i, I literally tip. weigh three <laughs> times as much as her <laughs> is Caroli bulgarian where is he from originally? yeah i think he's belarus uh yeah. romania Hunga- yeah. hungarian romanian yeah. but there was some not so good stuff that came about out about Bella and his wife, okay, yeah, you know, hugging yeah. those chicks, and and then we I got don't know, Romanians later in this. Yeah, episode. I don't know if they directly hired Larry Nassar, but I mean the apple didn't fall far far from the tree there. From coach to to, meta, it's a, to as a guy who likes keeping a pretty bushy mustache, it's tough that Bella Caroli is in our crew. You know, he's, yeah, he he looks like a wooden doll maker, but he's then more he, of the villain end of the mustache community, which is tough for us. Yeah. Looks like a shoemaker that molests gymnasts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he does. Yeah. The writing was right there on the wall. No, yeah. I just wanted to chimney attention. sweep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got a file chimney sweep. Yeah, <laughs> good coach though. Got a lot of yeah. goals. Great, really Great. swept them off their feet <laughs> pretty easily. Hell of a coach. Oh. I love carrying them. <laughs> Ooh, let's see how many of you I can carry today. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody on Dubella's thumbs <laughs> yeah. right now. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. yeah. Laugh or you cry. You know? Laugh or you cry. Yeah. But it was, uh, I got to hold a gold medal. That was cool. Um, nice. Yeah. That's that's first. Do you see yeah. the bronze medal that, from the skate? I did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it did, like totally like rusted. <laughs> yeah, that's why you got to win the gold, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Bronze doesn't hold <laughs> up. <laughs> well, it's like insult to injury. Yeah. It, it is. is. Yeah. yeah. Corrosive metal. Mm-hmm. Well, um, shall we get into some transgender news? Sure. Shall we? Shall. By the way, this transition. Guys, you guys saw that uh, um, both of our favorite 
uh, female fighters won the golds. I mean, Khalif and then the the one uh, the one female from what Taiwan Taiwan or Taipei the two from uh, yeah Taiwan the two that have been banned by the mm -hmm. IAB right yeah IBA IBA I yeah. International right. Boxing Association there might be corrupt the IBA. might be run by some right. yeah yeah and then the IOC does zero testing at all they just look at your passport so it's a very strange situation yeah. it's, right it's but it was I didn't look into the Asian but it was proven that. I mean, Khalif, and I'm sure the Asian too was born a woman. They have like AB. I don't know if the things. Asian was born a woman. That's one thing I don't know for sure. Right, there wasn't as much coverage as her. I mean, Khalif wasn't. seemed to get the brunt of everything, and she yeah. she's an actual woman. She looked more manly. That's probably why she got the brunt of it. But and she was in bigger weight class and was knocking people out and shit. Definitely. Yeah, the KOs. I mean, do you see the gold medal match? I mean, she pummeled. I mean, it was it was yeah. not not a close competition. So. Yeah. uh you know but they congratulations. both nominated yeah congrats we didn't bet on them like idiots yeah no because we didn't get to the book i didn't get to the book in time yeah. i that's i will forever hold that yeah, as that hold that money. l with me yeah. for yeah easy yeah. money but um i have some big news in the in the in the trans community world it turns out that one of the trans community's biggest haters might actually be a transgender man himself it's crazy, and it's a theory that is sweeping conspiracy theory circles across the world. It's all based on one picture of this alleged trans man in the male bikini bottom, which when you think about it is enough to raise a few eyebrows in the first place. Um, now, I'm going to test it's you guys. European, right? So he's got to be European. Yeah, well, you're going to find out. I'm gonna Americans don't do that. Americans don't. Europeans all wear that fucking Speedo on the beach. You know, my Americans uncle wore a Speedo that. for as long as I can remember on the beach. It was like his thing, but he was in great shape. So he would just want right. to show off. Like one out of 100 Americans right. wears a Speedo. Yeah, whereas like one out of two Europeans. <laughs> yeah, it was an in your face. It was an in your face. Yeah. Look at how buff I am moving right. for him. Yeah. Um, in Europe, you could be chubby and still rocking the speedo yeah. on the beach. It's just exactly. like it's it's it a style happens. for them. Yeah, or just totally naked in many instances. True. Um, now I'm gonna test you guys first. I'm gonna um show you a few pictures of some men or transgender men wearing bikini bottoms, and you have to tell me who you think is a man or a biological woman wearing a bikini. I think I got that right. I'm very confused. I'm You're sure just going to show us a bunch of crotch. Yep, I'm going to show you a bunch of crotches, and you got to tell me if you think that's a it's All a right, woman. Let's maximize trans. the screen real yep. quick. Is yep. your vagina is, mm -hmm. is the game. Make yeah. the screen okay. bigger. Okay. All right. First up. Whoa, vagina. I'm going to say vagina or tucked penis. Hard to tell, but oh, yeah. There you go. Tucked penis. Or vagina, that's transgender, transgender uh, woman there, or um, post op or pre op. Oh, that's, that's a what, yeah. That's the game a, we're playing, yeah. right? Like I don't know. I don't know the game we're playing. To be honest, okay, you don't to, know. you're hosting the game. Okay, you're yeah, I know. Well, I got confused. Host. Okay, what we're doing is how many more crotches are we going to look at? About yeah, four okay. or five. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta tell me if it's a oh, if it's a one. if it's a All real right. crotch or a transition. And crotch. you don't know. No, no I know. We this is a, this we is a transition crotch. Do you know? This is this is a transition crotch. This is a okay. this is a biological man. Post um, in a in a bikini. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Post okay. is it okay? So he so he's taping down the wiener or is it post op? What is you that? tell me. I, okay. Well, I don't know how <laughs> the tucking works. We don't have a good view. I, of, I think it's gone. Yeah. Okay. Let's do the next. Yeah, one. maybe. Okay. All right. Here we go. Probably the same situation. That looks. I think I can see some vagina in that one. Is this going to be all dudes? It's going to be all dudes. That's another. In this uh, game man, is it's all. Another, I'm sorry, not dudes, but trans. No, that's women. not true. Okay. Not true. All right. <laughs> is that what, what, about, this? what about this one? <laughs> Looks that, like a dude. That's a penis. That looks like a dude. There you go. That's just a dude when they're wearing a bikini. <laughs> <laughs> that one was easy. It was the, the whole game was to show that thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a fat dude in a bikini. Yeah. All right, what about what about this one? That's a yeah, dude. Quite that's a, a dog. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, that's, that's the, the yeah, Olympic that's the famous male swimsuit. Diver, bold, yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah. Okay, okay well, you have way. to have one uh, non-transgender female. I'm going to say that's a cis female because you haven't done that yet. Otherwise, okay. this, you lied to us. It's okay. too blurry to tell, A, yeah. but I'm saying that's wait, wait, that one. Were we right? That's a no. Well, okay, well, th there's two two standing next to each other, yeah. Uh, I think the Luke, one on... 
Oh uh, no! I think the one on the right is is a dude based on the hips. Like mm-hmm. it's got like a male blue hips. bikini here could I be think, a Finkel as Einhorn. I situation think blue sure. is a bored male transgender female, and I think pink is a cis female. Okay, nope, so you're wrong. Both males. So you set us up. They're all, <laughs> yeah, you, this game was rigged from the beginning. You lied. Not Where's the penis? There on hasn't the pink been a one. single cis female. No, Where's there the hasn't been on the pink one. No. What there's I mean the pink one is just I mean you that'll fool anyone. That'll fool even the even an eagle. <laughs> well the hips there. too. Yeah, I mean tan, supple yeah. skin. Yeah. Anyway, uh and the last one. All right, last one I'm gonna show you guys. Here we go. Yeah, you lied to us. There was no there was no cis female. I know. What do you think that one is? That's a male. It's a male. Uh a male no. bikini. Okay. Where's the balls though? Yeah. That my friends is the close-up picture that we're talking about today of Andrew Tate in his bikini, which many people are saying proves that he was a woman that transitioned into a man. Okay. I could see him being a, a <laughs> is, is it a eunuch where you have no testicles? I could see there being a penis there, but no nuts. Because that's I mean, it is there's, there's so a for the this explains people. why he hates women because he's got a micro penis and tiny testicles and he probably mm-hmm. got made fun of by a woman for his package and he's ever since been taking it out on women. It's my yeah. guess. Yeah. So it all it all uh, surfaced after a guy named Rob Anderson, who's a conspiracy theorist, posted that picture on Twitter and he said, um, uh, I guess she forgot to wear her fake eggplant emoji. And then he followed that up with saying, I told everyone about this a while back. <laughs> <laughs> he's been calling he's been calling yeah, Tate trying to gender for a while guys. it's all of them if they're on the stage they are part of the inverted show uh whatever that is now What's the um, so everybody Social who's media? famous is a trans is, yeah. is trans according yeah. to rob yeah i the guess plant, government plant transgendered women. right right yeah only other people, transgendered people yeah. are famous now because yeah. of the deep state. Yeah, yeah. nobody's off. Rob's limits. been trying to fucking tell us, guys. <laughs> nobody's off limits <laughs> when, it's, when it comes to this guy. Even the, even Andrew Tate, who's clearly a man uh, with huge bulging muscles and uh, whatever. Andrew Tate, yeah, I like that. Now, um, other other people were saying that um, that his clavicles, that cl- Tate's V shaped clavicles, also point to okay. the fact. That uh, that he may be a woman. Um, His body structure is so womanly with the mm-hmm. broad chest and and yeah. big shoulders. Here's one uh, live comment from Jared Lindsay. Took took so many steroids, his balls shrank. That's yeah. that's it's like probably true. true. Probably what happened. Also, yeah. a live comment from Bulls Deep Hook said if Wes had slipped in a picture of him in a speedo, it would have been a gold. <laughs> yeah, yeah close, it in. had that he put yeah. up I close wish. to like as close yeah. as Wes could get to a pic of him in yeah. a bikini. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> look. look People would have questions about me if they saw a close-up of me in a bikini, too. That's for sure. <laughs> well, look, we're not going to knock over a pole vault, but oh, you'll yeah. see something. Yeah, you'll see something. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. Mine, you're going to be like, why the fuck are the balls so big? Right. You know? and then, <laughs> um, does he even have a dick? Look, I can see the balls, clearly. But, whoa. Yeah. Swallowing the dick <laughs> with the balls. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, here's where Rob loses me in this whole thing, because I really wanted to buy into this theory because it would explain a lot, um, you know, of Andrew Tate. Apparently, Rob said that Andrew Tate was trans to, quote, to blasphemy the father. We are made in his image. So they reverse and pervert it because we are made in his image. I have no idea what he means by that. So he He's making it a rel- the guy who runs a Romanian whorehouse is making it a religious thing that that's why he's anti-trans. No, this is what Rob no, said Rob. of of, That's of, what Rob said. of why Andrew is a trans woman. This is his explanation. It's the blasphemy of the father. Oh, okay. So Rob is seriously religious. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Rob's seriously religious. Confused. Yeah, I got so con- turned around there. Well, yeah. this is a confusing story all the way from the game that we didn't know how to play. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's a very confusing segment. Well, that's what transgender people do. They trick you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been confused for about twelve minutes. Well, that's, the, the whole the whole point of everything is confusion, Mark. It's the name of the game. It's yeah. a confusing whole world here we're uh, dealing with. <laughs> we just live in the gray area here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I think it's pretty clear that he just isn't really packing, and uh, maybe that's why he hates women. Yeah. Well, here's a few comments from the internet that might explain. Uh, um, one person said. I was uh, when I was fat, 
I hated myself. Then I took Ozempic and transitioned into a skinny person, which made uh-huh. me hate fat people even more. It's kind of like that, I think. And then another one said, oh, if Ant- okay. yeah, yeah, it's a self-loathing kind of thing. Um, if T- Andrew Tate is trans, I will suck off my best friend Colton. That's how much I know Andrew Tate is not a trans. But if he is, you can hold me to it. OK, so that guy is he loves to suck Colton off. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's just the bottom line there. Yeah. Um, so, you know. Um, don't, don't tempt him with a good time. Yeah. Has, Tate, has Tate responded to the allegations? <laughs> I don't think he's. I, I, if he was smart, he hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I give that in the runaway. <laughs> you can see my schlong right there, bro. Yeah. Check it. Yeah. Check it. I mean, the only thing he's got, he'll, he's got to show everyone his penis now, um, and, yeah. you know, eventually to, to prove. No, that what he's, he's got to do is he's going to he's going to get like chubbed up. Right. And then take right. a new a new speedo pick steroids, chubbed man. up. Yeah, it's yeah. the steroids. It's yeah. the steroids. That dude is so inflated on steroids. His nuts have shrank <laughs> to basically not existing. And then he's got a dick still, but his nuts have just gone basically inside his body. Yeah. That's that's got to be what it is. Yeah. I mean, yeah. The pattern isn't doing him any favors either, but uh, no, you know, no, I don't believe Andrew Tate is a trans. Uh, maybe he's man, sitting on his balls. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just think it's the best conspiracy theory I've heard in a long yeah, time. Yeah, <laughs> anyway. is. It is fantastic. Yeah, I hope that it's inside of Andrew Tate's head because this is one that might get to him. I mean, it would certainly. He's, he gets to me. every conspiracy theory on the internet, so you know he's heard about it by now. Yeah. Oh, he's definitely heard about it. It's yeah. it's pretty new. It's like it's like not even a week old yet. So, uh, it'll, you think it'll... he's just staring in the mirror naked, like, <laughs> oh fuck, Mike, just get just get bigger testicles. Come on. He's <laughs> ordering eighty Bro. bikini bottoms on Amazon to ch- test them all out. Oh yeah, yeah he's gonna get yeah. some cod pieces probably. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is this is a damning one. This one hurt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this one hurt. <laughs> anyway, that's nice. what I got there. Too bad you can't lift with your nuts, you know. If he could just do do like uh, nut nut curls, then he'd be fine. But you can't can't do that, right? No, maybe it was really cold. Wes bringing the heat today at the opening segment. That was yeah, yeah. It's gonna be tough to top. Good to be back. Yeah, (laughs) be back. Yeah. I guess I'm going with not nearly as interesting a story. Um, Okay. All right. So listen, we're gonna talk about the astronauts stranded on the ISS again in Boeing and their sh- shitty spaceship again, because it's the best stranded story since the Thai kids. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, also, they aren't dead yet and probably will get home safely. So it's just the perfect story until it isn't. Um, They'll be fine. The ISS yeah. has been up there since like the eighties. They're, they're good. Yeah. They got supplies up there and people, the Russians can <laughs> yeah. send them supplies and stuff. Uh, um, but actually the new update from, from now from NASA is saying, um, besides the fact that they're saying they're going to use SpaceX to rescue those two and Boeing's furious about it, which we'll covered last week, and that might not happen until 2025. NASA's firing another haymaker at Boeing this week as they released a 38 page scathing document claiming uh, that Boeing is hindering America's return to the moon. So not even the two astronauts that are stranded, <laughs> but the moon project that they contracted SpaceX and Boeing at the same time to make different parts of the ship, the Artemis's Artemis. Yeah. They're saying. They're causing massive delays due to mismanagement and inexperienced employees and inept and just being an inept. Well, so what they ended up doing was weird was they started like basically because Boeing was so far behind, they started giving SpaceX like every other launch contract. Mm -hmm. And what's happening is Boeing is so Mm -hmm. far behind that now SpaceX is actually just going to be the only one launching ships like to the moon as part of Project Artemis because Boeing do it like everything they do they fail at so we covered it back in the day when they first like signed the contract or around that time period boeing was supposed to create a specific like couple pieces of the spaceship that land with like landing and stuff like they weren't creating the whole ship they were like contracted to create certain parts of the ship not even that much of the ship none of them work yeah yeah they just haven't been able to propulsion parts mainly well and you saw what their propulsion did to those two idiots on the iss they failed. The thrusters yeah. failed. Yeah. Uh, the Feel report. Like yeah. The report is from NASA's office of the inspector general, and it says that Boeing has piss poor quality control practices. No uh, duh. Did you hear what the whistleblowers had to say about how they put their planes together before they were murdered? Shocking news that they have bad quality control. Yeah. I mean, if that's how they put together passenger planes, imagine the shortcuts taking place on spaceships. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, there's only a few people on spaceships. Right. 
And, it's and, even theoretical <laughs> if they even fly the damn thing. So who cares? You know, just right. eggs. That's just what turn it in. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's probably going to blow up anyway. You know, that's yeah. true. Historically, like, you know, one out of four does. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, uh, the report went on to say Boeing's workforce uh, is insufficiently trained and blame them for cost increases and schedule delays in the development of NASA's space, space launch system. And I would say maybe don't sign a decade long trillion dollar contract with Boeing anymore. NASA. Yeah. Sole source in Boeing contracts. Maybe that's a gr- great lesson in why our government is incredibly inefficient, because that's that's a bad idea. It's like, yeah. I saw another report besides this one make, doing basically the same thing. And NASA's report confirms that they're currently unable to administer fines or recoup money that Boeing is costing everyone because they signed a fixed term contract without incentive penalties. Um, well, guys, so we just trust a perfect contract for Boeing. We trusted yeah. them at the time. So we yeah. gave them carte blanche for decades. And Here's all your money up front. Guys. As much as they want. So yeah. signing I mean, I, bonus and I, all guaranteed. This is the worst deal than the than when the falcons got screwed by signing kirk cousins this is a worse contract than kirk cousins our yeah. government uh, is not their strong suit isn't is is uh is not um you know not getting taken to the house by contract <laughs> this is like when i gave a homeless guy 30 bucks in my address and told him to come mow my lawn and they uh, never showed up <laughs> oh man you're lucky he didn't come just rob you yeah he did yeah. you a favor yeah, I guess the so Boeing has that kind of a sweetheart deal and they're still skimping on QA. Yeah, check means- this out. Originally, <clears throat> originally, the budget for the project was 962 million for, I think, the parts Boeing was responsible for putting on the moon rocket, the Artemis 2, which was supposed to launch in summer 2025. But the costs are expected to exceed 2 billion by 2025. And now the project's being delayed until at least 2028, where the cost could approach 6 billion by then. So three right. years it's- late and six times the original budget. And to put it in perspective, right, doesn't SpaceX do one of these like reliably for like half a bill or like one bill? Like it's like significantly less. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like fractional the costs that other rocket makers are are putting together spaceships that, than Boeing. It's crazy. They're, they're not delaying the uh, process by an entire Olympic cycle of four years. Right. Um, At least. I mean, I feel like they've yeah. the, the SLS maybe even longer. It, it's crazy. It's crazy how bad they fucking are as a company. It's pretty bad. Uh, Boeing's defense earned value management system, which is like their auditing system to so, so show that they do quality work, uh, which NASA uses to measure contract cost and schedule progress um, for anything that they signed for over $250 million, which is what they did with them, has been disapproved by the Department of Defense since 2020. They just said this is the worst quality control process we've ever seen. And uh, now Boeing's precluded from reliably predicting any delivery date 2028 might be uh far-fetched as well and i'll be honest with you the report has a lot of information i didn't comb through all of it but the long and short of is that it sounds like it came out because congress is starting to ask questions about why the budget for these moon landing projects keeps going billions yeah, over and years like, over right yeah. they're like hey nasa how come your budget is the worst on on planet earth uh, and then they're like, well, it's because we told Boeing that they can do whatever and we have to pay them no matter what. So. Exactly. So Congress is breathing down NASA's neck and NASA right. was more than happy uh, to throw Boeing under the bus, especially. Which also the is throwing thing. themselves under the bus because they gave Boeing yeah. that sweetheart contract and yep. with no penalties. So like NASA is just admitting they're like, hand up. We are we're fully uh, incapable of doing our jobs. This and reminds me of the Secret the- Service. Boeing yeah. took us to the fucking woodshed head lady. And, yeah. Yeah. and so we need help. It also reminds me exactly of like the one time in high school where I, um, I let you guys have a party at my house when I went to Philadelphia to visit family. And um, the guys I, whose idea it was when, when I got caught, my parents punishment for me was I had to go and go to everyone's house and apologize to their parents. And everyone was like pretty contrite and just wanted to get over with. And the guy whose idea it was said, uh, Hey, Mr. And Mrs. Borgie, I'm sorry that I took your son's, offer up i'm sorry t- yeah. i took out his and it was his idea sure to well, that's like basically what nasa is doing they're like i'm sorry that we took uh boeing up that we asked them to do this for <laughs> on their incredible <laughs> offer to build us spaceships <laughs> for unlimited money that we said yeah sure yeah <laughs> i looked at him i was staring at him in front of him and all the parents I was like you cocksucker like are you absolutely you know what it's like to be boeing motherfucker right just shut up and believe <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? You're gonna get me more trouble. Um, but yeah, NASA printed a, you know a hundred thousand words saying that Boeing sucks more dick than Secundius trying to hire an assassin. And they were happy to do it. <laughs> yeah. Secundius. Secundius. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, I mean, that's what you get when you uh, can't make a plane or a fucking spaceship and you sign up to make like what? Like hundreds of them a year. You yeah. Know, you can't make them. Wraith here. You know, I'm going to take the side of NASA, but also um, it's they're not fully not to blame because they hired uh, Boeing. Wraith. It's complex Wraith issue. Yeah. 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 Anyways. Wraith always with the uh, level-headed takes. NASA and Boeing are not uh, getting along. No, uh, you wouldn't. You wouldn't expect it after that. Hey, Wes, you want to tell us about smart vapes? Sure. We move on. Yeah. Then, oh, also, do we have a word from? Uh, our- yeah. I mean, everyone at Boeing and uh, NASA might want to calm down and enjoy the best nicotine pouches in the world. Lucy, Lucy's been our sponsor. Uh, for a while now now they're back for the rest of the year which is awesome because i just got a six pack look at this this came in the mail oh, this weekend log. guess yeah. how much this six pack cost i mean 50 uh, with the 100? hard factor discount right you'd think with because if you go to the gas station six times what uh, the you know those other assholes is going to be like 50 yeah. now 31 dollars will for uh using Ooh. hard factors code to get six of them on the subscription uh i got the 12 strong yes well can't even get that in most stores wow yeah yeah i got the 12s uh most you're, you're going to space yeah Strong, it's... delicious reliable so you, are, you guys already know what the deal is discount lucy came back for the year because you guys keep buying it and we keep using it because the they're awesome so if you go to lucy.co slash hard factor you can get that deal that i just talked about lucy's the best yeah they are uh it contains nicotine nicotine's a addictive chemical that's right we have to find print uh, you must be of age to buy uh, nicotine's addictive chemical. <laughs> yes. Yep. It's true. Uh, speaking of um, nicotine, um, you guys remember when we were young, we had the the, uh, the candy cigarettes to lure us into becoming smokers when we were older. <clears throat> yeah. Mm-hmm. Loved them. Loved yeah. Them. Loved them too. They give that that little puff when you when you yes. inhaled. Yeah, I mean it was like a real so cigarette. Cool. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome. Some of them were gum. Most of them were gum, I think. Um, shitty gum, yeah. Yeah, shitty gum. But they worked, you know. I mean, <laughs> they worked on me. Maybe my parents also being heavy smokers worked on me, but they worked on me. Um, well, it's 2024, so companies need a new, fancier way to lure kids. To getting them hooked on nicotine so they are unveiling the e-cigarette with built-in video games yeah <laughs> yes yeah. holy shit can i get one <laughs> yeah you can will all, all right. you got to do is go on d website uh which is i think a texas-based company and they will s- ship one right to your door as long as you have some kind of proof that you're over 18 or whatever the age is. Now, this and is not a sponsor. Fuck them. Go with Lucy. But this is hilarious. Yeah. 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 No, no, this is this is terrible. Here's a you can play can you, Tetris. Can you can you put I'd, lo- I'd love to play uh, games on my device and mm-hmm. I want to know the games. Can you put any type of cartridge in there? Because I got one of these that looks like it's for nicotine. But Look you at you without a game on that, you is. idiot. Yeah, I mean, what no, do you it is. I know I need to get one with the game on. <laughs> you idiot. Yeah, I know. So you can play Tetris. I don't know what this is, but it's there's like, a like Zelda. Yeah, uh, Pac-Man. Um, there's there's a variety of games and a variety of flavors that you can get. Um, and I guess they're ripped off versions of the classics. They weren't officially licensed, but they <laughs> no Nintendo Tetris. didn't sign off on. This. Yeah, no Nintendo didn't sign off on it. Oh, okay. um, they're not officially Tetris. It's Tetris and Jason. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here's what's really Tricks. fucked up with an X. They also are these things incentivize and offer digital prizes uh, depending on how much a person vapes. So it, if you hit it enough, you'll get rewarded with like Fuck a yeah. digital certificate or, or like this an is emoji. like the camel cash bucks. <laughs> yeah. You can vape your way to the next level. Yeah, you can vape your way to the next <laughs> level. Yeah. You got like unique game like skins and stuff like things to play. <laughs> I'm, this is obviously a horrible idea, dangerous for kids, but I <laughs> oh want God. one so badly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you're going to vape, you might as well play Tetris at the same time and really fuck yourself If you can up. put weed inside that thing, it's, it's game on. Yeah. Doesn't that defeat the purpose, though, of, of like, you know, vaping is like like Lucy and vaping, you're supposed to like try to calm yourself down. Tetris is not very calming to me. Uh, you know, when I'm dying yeah, in Tetris. Yeah, when you get frustrated, then you're right there with your vape. You can just yeah. hit it. I don't know. I don't think most vapors are super calm. 
Um, he but, might be right. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud chaser. <laughs> yeah. you, you say? They're pretty high. They're yeah. pretty crazy. Um, yeah. But from the website, it says experience the ultimate vaping experience with craft box V play 20 K disposable vape. Enjoy mm. 25 mill- milliliters of 5% nicotine vape, adjustable airflow and a child lock for safety. The built in va- vap entertainment system includes Ooh. three retro video games, 1.7 in- inch full color HD display. Uh, blah blah blah. Did those idiots really say experience the ultimate vaping experience? They experience did. Experience twice in four, yep. five words. They did. Yeah, it's right on their website. Um, but, I doubt that it was. You know, English is not the first language. Yeah. No, but I mean, I mean, if it, it's, I mean, if I was gonna go vape, I would buy one of these things. I mean, why absolutely. Not? Yeah. I mean, they're only eighteen bucks. Eighteen. Yeah. To, uh, okay, 18 it's not an ad, one. but I, I'm yeah, gonna, it's yeah. looking like an ad. They Sorry. Look, pretty poor quality oh you gotta get like six they're all gonna break yeah oh they're gonna break immediately but um yeah. you'll be the coolest vapor on your street um if you get one of these first <sighs> so cool dude. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> damn you chase clouds and break records i mean yeah break high scores yeah i mean that's pretty cool that's so, hard to beat hard to I beat mean, so be on the lookout for kids um just doing absolutely nothing uh yeah. in your neighborhood uh, except for vaping and Playing Pac Man on their just same device. Smoke stack on the corner. Yeah. You think these will make their way into schools and just piss off administrators? Are you kidding me? They're yeah. they're they're going to be sold everywhere. Um, <laughs> it's going to be like year. schools. The teachers nightmare. union. Yeah. The teachers union already has a newsletter out about this. Yeah. <laughs> it is unacceptable. It's a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's yeah. what's going on in the newest uh, big nicotine. Uh, plot to lure kids into their into their system smart yeah. yep smart but what's even smarter is using our promo code hard factor it yeah i mean that's an adult nicotine product this yeah. is yeah you look like a loser if you're an adult playing tetris on these things uh this, yeah this is literally for kids yeah 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 but and me too kids and myself because okay I, I might try to go get one. Um, almost got, almost got the new digital prize. Yeah, dude, I'd get so high <laughs> trying to vape my way to the next round. It would be awesome. Yeah. yeah, I'd end up fucking my day up though, but it would be fun. All right, uh, it's a Monday, okay? So some of you listening to this right now. You may be having a hard Monday at work, you know, might be feeling a little sluggish after a, like a hard weekend, long weekend, uh, you know, but at least you're not a teacher worrying about hopefully maybe you're not. Maybe you are, but hopefully you're not worrying about the uh, video game vaping devices, you know, and at least you're not one drug dealer who lost one million dollars in Coke packages uh, marked with like these weird little orange triangles on them. Would well, you guys know what that symbol is on this orange triangle here? No, it looks like something you throw and it'll come back to you, though, like a boomerang kind of thing. Right. Like a like a boomerang from Zelda or something. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. Some kind yeah, of it looks like the games that you would play on those vape machines. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's a it's a deep cut from whoever these drug dealers are. But anyways, they lost 70 pounds in Coke packages right there. All those uh, wrapped up kilos. One million dollars uh, worth uh, marked with those orange triangles, because whoever you know, that belonged to it, those orange triangles, they lost it and just full of these trash bags of Coke to Hurricane Debbie last mm. weekend. It pushed these uh, these Coke bags straight onto the beach in the Florida Keys. So just washed up there uh, due to the Category 1 storm. And now it's in the hands of U.S. Border Patrol because mm. Good Samaritans, once again, for some reason, just handed it over and didn't pocket it themselves. I know marking, branding your Coke is like, it's like, you know, cool and like it shows like hey this is officially the coke you like this is the good coke but it's also then hard to explain to your higher up drug dealers you don't know what happened to the coke when they plastered all over the internet it's got your stupid logo on it you got to go with a less less unique logo than this yeah i mean you need it to be unique enough where you know you you can identify it as your coke but you go this specific and everybody knows exactly who got killed this drug dealer is getting killed yeah yeah no no 100 percent yeah the this first part of the segment ends with a rest in peace to whoever the drug dealer was that lost. <laughs> what do you coke. think of this logo for the coke? You like this logo? Yeah. <laughs> as long as you just deliver it, I don't care what you put on it. It's gonna get there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Pure. End up 
It's not going to end up on the on the AP, right? With yeah, pictures right. of it. <laughs> that stupid fucking logo, right? Uh, yeah. So that's a rough way to start uh, the month for any business, especially one that murders you for mistakes. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah, RIP to the unnamed. Yeah, we have a zero tolerance policy for losing 100 millions of cocaine. Yeah. No, you lose 70 pounds of coke. That's, uh, yeah. It's I don't your know. Family, I it's your family murdered. Yeah. Yeah. You to, <laughs> with your life. Right. Yeah. So. Mm. Hurricane Debbie took down. Hurricane Debbie fucked dealer. up my beach vacation hard, too. I'll tell you, fuck that. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. You went just, right in its path. It was the worst. I was only there for a few days because I had to leave to go to work. But uh, they they had one. We had one beach day the whole yeah. time. It was terrible. Just a just a, a atrocious trip because of that. You were right in Debbie's path. Yeah, it was just rainy, cloudy. Yeah. It was terrible. That's terrible. Yeah. That's terrible. Big fudge ass in the live chat. Which Border Patrol was this? Need to go retrieve some evidence. It's Miami. They have it at the Miami Border Patrol office. That makes sense. You need to retrieve that evidence which I wish you all the luck in. Uh, but it's not all bad news today. Uh, let's take it over to Romania. See, we called it back. Knew we were going back there. To revisit our friend Vasile Gorgos. You guys remember this dude? Vasile Gorgos? He looks like a sweet, funny old man. Yeah, sweet, funny old 93-year-old Vasile there in yeah. the picture. Uh, he magically reappeared at his house in eastern uh, Romania at the age of 93 in the same exact clothes that he left in at the age of 63 back in 2020. uh, Like, he arrived back at 93 in 2021. He left at the age of 63, you know, back in, uh, what, 91, 1991. Where the hell did he go? He's a time traveler. Right. Yeah. And so we talked about him a while back because, again, he, he's a farmer. You guys I'm trying to jog your memory. He was a farmer, a cattle trader. He had a train ticket in his pocket when he left. And that same train ticket was in his pocket when he returned. And the car that dropped him off at his house in 2021, they sped off before the family could ask any questions about, you know, where the fuck has Vasile been? And Vasile claims he has no idea where he's been. He thinks he's been at home for, for all 30 years. Holy shit. How do you get lost <laughs> for 30 years but keep the same shirt? That's incredible. He's no, lost, that's, he was lost in some pussy is what he was lost. Yeah, in. that's that's <laughs> what my man knows. Yeah. So it's it's a mystery so deep. And and Vasile, Vasile has this not. shirt for whenever. <laughs> oh, yeah. He needed he, he put that away, tucked it away for when he needed to go back. Yeah. Um, but he has not divulged, you know, 93 year old Vasile. I think he's still alive, but he is not telling anybody. It's it's locked lips about he says, oh, I've been home for 30 years, whatever. I got dropped off by a mysterious car that wouldn't talk to you. It's a mystery so deep. It's been examined now in a podcast series, which was pointless to listen to. So just listen to this. Be happy. Listen to us because you don't need to listen to the other one because Vasile, as I said, has still not told anybody where he's been. So it's not like the podcast <laughs> like interviewed Vasile and he gave up the fucking goods. No, Vasile claims he's full crazy. He's been there for 30 years. He has no idea where he was. But the top theories on where he was are that he, number one, ditched his family and it didn't work out or he wanted to say goodbye before he died. And that or he's 93 or his mistress just died of old age. And he's like, I guess right. I'll go home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Number one with a bullet is yeah. pitched his family and it didn't work out the way he wanted to. And for some reason had to come home or he was just in jail for 30 years and won't fess up. Yeah. Also, they'll keep your shirt, too. <laughs> yeah, That's true. true. Well, yeah, it could be jail. true. Yeah. Jail's number one for me now, because I don't know, even if you go uh, to like, you know, leave your family and go with the mistress. I don't I don't think I've kept anything for 30 years and i don't think i would yeah. ever be able to keep anything for 30 years like yeah if the jail kept his shirt for 30 years that makes a lot of sense the yeah, reason jail is not number number not number one for me is there's going to be records with jail there's going to be no records with an affair so affairs number one to me uh there's also the theory that he's a spy but i'm going with affair personal what about aliens mark's, mark's jail I, I like aliens it's possible i mean i want to believe in aliens as i've said many times but i just i think realistically mistress i think it, pussy is really if most it is mistress. jail he did whatever the hell it was because he's not being like they wrongfully imprisoned me uh, <laughs> right yeah if it was jail he should have been in there for life he did the murder yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> how are there not blood on these clothes yeah yeah who knows that's crazy 
Yeah, Vasile's not telling anybody. But yeah, so don't worry about it. You don't need to listen to the podcast that examines it and actually never tells you what happened because Vasile's not fucking telling. Vas of course, Vasile's not telling because he was with his mistress for 30 years. Yeah, well, he needs to be taken care of now. He doesn't want to, you know, if, if he's like, yeah, you know, I ran away. I was fucking some bitch. Now I'm back. Take care of me. You know, that's, yeah. tough, that's tough pill to swallow. <laughs> he's not trying to rock the boat. Everybody's happy Vasile's home. Yeah. yeah. He's got to keep yeah. up the act, though, for oh, yeah. forever. Well, for, he's 93. He's probably got a little dementia in him. But once right, he well, hits. Yeah. 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 Once he hits like bed bedridden, he can probably let it slip. You know? Yeah. <laughs> she was. Hey, so you know beautiful. what? I was actually. <laughs> <laughs> she was the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> Twice as beautiful as your mother. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, you never know what he's gonna let slip once he like you know once he hits that it's that threshold. But for now, he's keeping it tight lipped. You don't need to listen to any other podcast in Hard Factor. And speaking of that, thank you for listening. That is Monday's show. Go to patreon.com slash hard factor if you need more episodes of the three weekly bonus podcast plus Discord chat access. Get in there, play some fantasy football with us this season. It's gonna be very fun. Still some slots open, they will close up quick. Most importantly, get out there and have yourselves a great fucking day.